I'm the, I'm the, I'm the Paul Revere of fault managed power system. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> and, and people keep looking at me like deer in the head, like, like, uh, what is it? Well, it's, it's electricity. I don't care. I'm like, dude, if you don't, if you don't embrace this, if you don't learn about this, you're going to get left behind. You're going to miss out on opportunities to make money. Right. So let's just, let's go and start off with, um, what is fault managed power systems and how is it different from a traditional power delivery method like class two? Sure. Great start. So uh, fault managed power systems are today recognized under the National Electrical Code as an entirely new classification of power code class four. And essentially what these systems can do is um, they can push higher voltage. So if you look in the context of a class two circuit, they're limited to 100 volts. Uh, and 60 watts, and they're known as power limited circuits. The whole point behind doing that for class two is make it safe for low voltage installations. So you don't, you know, like the PoE cable or category cable, you don't have to run that in conduit. You can run that in cable pathways. You can run it on J hooks. Just makes it very easy and simple to install. Now, how does class four differ? It actually takes a lot of the benefits on the installation side. Um, so you can install class four circuits very similar to a class two circuit. 